able to sort of recreate kind of everything as faithfully as it was on the day building our movie around her. And so that involves figuring out the staging of the other characters as well. It's literally like a gift from her, or her forcing us to make her the star of the movie. But <laughs> probably both. This is the first scene that we're doing with Leia. And uh, of course, we don't have the most important person with us. I would say we should have a moment of silence, but that's the last thing that Carrie would stand for. Um, so instead, I would say let's have uh, every moment be one of celebration for uh, a woman we love, a character we love and admire. Thank you. The reality of having to do a scene with someone who isn't actually there. Yes, Master. Was very difficult. I sort of had to walk off and have a moment. Being back has been incredible, painful, surreal. All of the adjectives that you can come up with, probably I've felt. <laughs> it was a hard day, but it was a, it was a good day. We've had tears and we've had, you know, laughter, laughter and, and memories. Yeah. And the fact that there were so many people around talking so fondly of her and, you know, sharing our memories yeah. of her, you know, and with Billy to be able to listen to, you know, how people think of her mum, you know, it, it's amazing. Yeah. There's no one in the entire cast and crew that was more supportive than Billy. And so to know that we were doing this with sort of her at our side. That's something that I'll just always be grateful to her for. I'm so happy. And she would be happy that it's her movie, too. Yeah. Yeah. It's fascinating to watch an actress come into a role like Ray and to be 19, 20 years old. Even the idea of getting strong physically, all of that was new. Woo. And now, as she's emerging as a powerful Jedi, yeah. Okay. And you're watching her as Daisy actually move through that process. There's an interesting parallel. Bit of dialogue, bit of dialogue. I went into it knowing that I wanted to be healthy, doing stuff that literally feels good for your body. So I was sort of combining a number of things. So I was doing essentially bodyweight training five days a week and then kickboxing twice a week. One, two, three, three, three. One guard, dialogue. I took karate, uh, kendo and did a little bit of weight training. They sort of want to mix that martial arts flavor in with the traditional foil fencing. That's good. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah, we have to rest now. Okay. Watch yeah. it. Right. I can't talk now. I'm out of breath. Is it difficult? It's becoming better than Errol Flynn. What do you mean by difficult? This is unusual. You know, I haven't seen this one before. Then you pull the saber out. Here we go. You know how this is going to go. It hits you immediately. This remote droid is molded from the, the original mold from A New Hope of the one that they used then. So that's exactly the same as what you saw on the Falcon on A New Hope. There's just too many of them. But there are more of us, Poe. There are more of us. That moment where they all arrive, Poe looks up and he sees this immense fleet kind of reminded me of that sort of Dunkirk idea that everyone in the galaxy comes together to try and take down the First Order and the Sith. The blockade runner will be there and X-Wings, but along with that, we've thrown in just about any ship we could find. We've got the Naboo Starfighter from the Phantom Menace. We've got the Ghost from Rebels, the Star Tours ship, Medical Frigate from Empire Strikes Back, the U-Wing from Rogue One, the Resistance Bomber from Last Jedi, this ship is a Mandalorian ship that goes all the way back to the Clone Wars episodes. Three of the aces from Star Wars Resistance. You might notice a quad jumper from uh, Force Awakens. Very similar to the approach that we took with the X-Wing where we looked at early Macquarie drawings. We designed a new B-Wing. It's kind of slicker, a little thinner, lighter, but taking inspiration from Joe Johnston. He designed a lot of great early B-Wing designs that eventually made it to what you see in Return of the Jedi. We've also upgraded the Y-Wing, the A-Wing. So initially we thought our library was going to be big enough to include all these ships that we were going to need. But we soon realized when JJ said thousands of ships, we needed to go back to the drawing board and design a lot of ships, about 55 new ships that we had never seen before. How cool is this? Is this crazy? <laughs> I've got along to kind of sell it to the audience. And so little subtle clues in costume, the look of that, and also the set. 
will allow us to do that very quickly. I guess we're calling him Wicket's son. You know, I think in, in reality he's my son, but also in, uh, within the Ewok tribe, Wicket has indeed produced an offspring. Uh, he's older and wiser, and uh, he has a little scamp to, uh, to handle now. So you can imagine the scale of what you're seeing. Huge Star Destroyer, what? like plummeting down. Today we were blessed with two performances from uh, two fine actors, one is a, a Star Wars vet and one is uh, a new Star Wars vet. I'm immensely proud of Harrison and what he's achieved today. You know, it's not easy in, in, in this, you know, it's, it's difficult to move, it's extremely hot, you can't see, you can't breathe, and uh, he, did, uh, he did a sterling job. I cannot tell you how wonderful this is. Thank you both for doing it. So how was that? I drew this myself <laughs> while I was waiting for you guys to film the movie. I always love making discoveries, planning things as much as we can, and of course, you storyboard and you shot list. But the truth is that when you're on the set, you discover things that you know you need that you never would have known. He's driving along, right? He makes I a spin. turn. <laughs> I'm at him when, he's, when he's right around here, the thing hits. That's behind him. You're looking back over your left shoulder. Over left shoulder. Yeah. 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 Boom. Uh, that. <laughs> No, I missed this part. <laughs> and then the whole thing comes around like that. Twice? Well, you, you were doing, just doing the second half. Just the second half. Yeah, and it's like, you still see it. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, it's like, the shot is the woohoo. Woohoo! <laughs> exactly. It's so normal. So interestingly, we need to turn the whole speed around. really exhilarating. For me, it was the most fun I've had. <laughs> uh, but it's a bit challenging because they'd have fans as well. And so you just have all this sand getting into your eyes. And uh, I'd go home after after some days and just like tons of sand would be pouring out of my hair. Line, 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 line. And you see Ray, and you wave. See how you ship. Here comes the jetpack. Shoot. Three, two, one, boom! Eunice has a confidence that is really exciting to work with. She's ferocious in a way that you want people to be. And when you have people like that, then you trust their opinion. And it challenges you to make it better and more specific. There was no icebreaker with Adam. You just, it's like, boom, and that's it. But I, I actually love it. I, I love it. Even in rehearsals, Adam's in character. I'll go, Adam, you need to step out more. It's closing your strength down. And he's like, no, no, I don't need to step out more. Kyla Ren wouldn't be like that. He, he wants it there, he wants it there, and I'd be like, yeah, but, yeah, but. And we'd have this, this like, argument, but I like it. Character is her starting place. It's never from spectacle. It's always from within. He was like, so this is how it is, Eunice. I do all my own stunts, and I'm like, yeah, here we go. I always hear it. I go, Adam, there's a level you can do, and there's a level you can't. No, 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 you're not hearing me. I do it all. The physicality of Kylo, I'm very protective over. So you kind of, I wanted to do all of the, the uh, all of the things. I was like, well, okay, if it looks good, you can do it. If it doesn't look that good, I'll be putting the stunt guy in. It has to look good. So, um, but he did everything. What we've done all this time. I want you to know that you have been a real friend of two. My best one, in fact. A force brought us together. I will finish what Luke started. A thousand generations live in you now. This is your destiny.